For a look ahead, we're joined by Portland's Norman Powell, who tied his postseason career high with 29 points in that game. For Norman, we appreciate you taking the time with us. This is the 14th playoff series of your career already. What stands out to you about the way these first four games have played out? Um, I think the thing that stands out most is, you know, every game has been so different, you know. Uh, you know, we're able to come out for game one, you know, and get the win here and then uh, kind of uh, get put on our heels in game two. Um, same as uh, game three. Um, you know, we fought harder in game three when we got home with the home crowd and their energy. But, uh, you know, they're able to sustain our first punch, you know, and we're able to get going uh, in game four. We're able to, you know, uh, put a full 48 minutes of intense defensive pressure um, in every single quarter, sustaining their runs and uh, playing the style of basketball that we want. You know, I think that the biggest thing is every game has been so different for us. Norman, Steve Smith, I want you to talk about game four, which you talked about intense defense. What changed? Because it seemed like y'all were all locked in on the assignments, the rotation. I mean, it was beautiful to watch the way defensively y'all were all on the same page. Uh, I think I think we all had had the will uh, to not let them get another one on our home floor. You know, I thought we fought hard in game one. We looked at the film. Um, you know, there were there were some stretches where you know you can see that it was uh, Blazer basketball, and then other stretches where you know we kind of got complacent or the ball wasn't moving on offense, and then you know we we're kind of not talking as much uh, on our assignments so defensively on switches and rotations. And uh, we just said that you know we're not going to lose this game. You know, we're going to come out and, and put a full defensive focus together, and we're able to do that. Uh, in every quarter, uh, reaching our defensive goals um, has allowed us to uh, be able to play a free-flowing offense. Hey, Norman. LaMarcus here. What's um, up, baby? Hey, so what's the, the, uh, the uh, mindset, you know, for the, the whole group tonight? Uh, you know, to, to, to keep that, that, that defensive mentality, you know, we know we're going to be in a hostile environment um, and uh, to not come back here. You know, um, we don't want to come back here for a game seven. So, you know, we have to continue to have our focus defensively uh, every quarter. They're going to come out more aggressive. You know, everything they've been saying in the press um, about how they played in game four, you know, the kind of adjustments they made in game two. So, you know, we got to be ready for that aggressive style, you know, between their guards, uh, not only Jokic, but Rivers and Capazzo, um, Porter, he's going to be more aggressive. So we got to be really locked into those guys trying to get going early and, um, you know, being tied in because, you know, on the road, it's uh, uh, us against the world. You know, Norman, you got a chance to be traded over to this Portland Trailblazers team. You're playing with two guards, CJ and Dame Lillard. Obviously, you play with Fred Van Vliet and Kyle Lowry. It seems like it's just been an easy transition. Can you talk about the transition from playing with those two guards to these two guards? Yeah, um, I feel like, um, you know, I've always played with, uh, you know, uh, great guards, you know, Fred and Kyle uh, in the last recent years. And when I first came into the league, trying to find my way, trying to find minutes, um, getting my time, you know, with, with Kyle and DeMar. Uh, being the, the two guards uh, uh, my early uh, career with the Raptors, trying to fit in and just find areas where I can be successful and make an impact. Um, same here, you know, uh, Dame and CJ draw so much attention. And with the way my game has developed, being able to attack um, on the weak side, catch and shoot, finish uh, threes uh, when they're drunk, uh, double teams and things like that, um, it's made my transition really easy, um, especially with everything that I've gone through uh, with the Raptors and, and having experienced guard, bar handling guards. Um, uh, I feel like it's the same thing here. Of course, you, you won a championship with Toronto. You've been through all these playoff series over the years. What is it about the makeup of this team, the roster, the, the chemistry in the locker room that gives you optimism to think that maybe Portland could be kind of a Toronto-type contender? Uh, I, I think uh, the underdog mentality of that locker room um, I think uh, personnel-wise, we got a little bit of everything for um, every position. You know, uh, we can play big, we can play small. Uh, you know, we can attack from the outside. We can get guys going into the paint, finishing. Uh, you know, we got shooters in pretty much every position. Um, you know, give guys different looks and uh, the will, the will to want to win. You know, um, I think we had that uh, in my championship season. You know, we gone through the adversities, the ups and downs, um, being down 0-2 in the playoff series, and being out having to fight our way back. Um, I think this team has gone through the trenches, you know, and they're, and they're ready to uh, get over that hump. And I, I sensed that uh, early when I first came in, talking to Dame, talking to CJ, uh, you know, them asking me about, you know, how the championship run was and everything like that. So uh, I think we're, we're ready. You know, I think uh, the media and a lot of people, you know, count us out for whatever reason, the same way they counted the Raptors out, and they didn't start to believe until, you know, we put a, a, a run together deep into the playoffs. So um, I believe the same thing can happen here. Norman, you know better by now than to listen to the media. 
<laughs> uh, I never listen to the media, but that's just what's been always being said. So um, a lot of people don't believe, you know, certain teams are contenders, but it's the belief uh, in yourself, belief in your in your uh, teammates, you know, and what you got going on and what you're building uh, within the organization that can get it done.